good filters can be pretty expensive. Whether it's just a screw-on filter from like Tiffin, Black Promise filter, or something that you put into your matte box, even though they can quite enhance your video and make your production value step up by quite a bit, it can be frustrating to invest in good filters because it, it just doesn't feel like, like you're buying a new camera. It's just, just a small thing and it hurts. Just like storage, hard drives. It's not something a filmmaker wants to spend money on. So whether you don't want to buy a filter or you have forgotten your filter on set or you just didn't know you wanted that look in camera and didn't put your filter on, whatever the reason is you clicked on this video, in this video I'm gonna show you how to digitally add a mist filter onto your footage. So let's jump right into Final Cut. I'm doing this effect in Final Cut but since you just need two basic tools you can do this basically in any editing software like Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects, probably also DaVinci or Sony Vegas, I don't know. You just just need two basic tools which basically every software has so let's do the effect so here we have our example footage it's just me standing in this shady alley I'm just using it because we have these nice lights which will be really emphasized by this look of course so yeah let's smoothen out our highlights first we have to duplicate our original clip which we can do by holding options and then clicking it and dragging it upwards so we have two times the clip then we click on the upper clip go to our effects and search for luma key this one we just drag onto our footage. We don't have to mess with any of these settings. We just leave it on the default settings. And as you can see, it does nothing to our footage. But now we're gonna look for the Gaussian blur effect and also just drag it onto our footage. And as you can see, we have some pretty blurred out highlights, which looks already pretty good. And now we can really dial in our look how much of the effect we want. Like for example, having a bit less. Here you can see if we have the Gaussian blur on zero and then if we turn it up a bit we have a little bit of a glow around the highlights and we can expand that all the way up to 100 which gives us really nicely blurred out highlights here you can see before and after it just adds this nice glow look to our footage we could also try messing a little bit with the luma key to get more blurriness over the entire footage but i wouldn't recommend doing it i would just leave it on the default setting which is just affecting the highlights we could also go into our upper layer as you can see this is the footage that's laying on top of this original footage. Damn, this is noisy here. That's no, because of proxies. Let's just dial it back a little bit, maybe to 75. And again, here's the before and after. So let's look at how it affects some other footage. I have this really nice low shutter footage of a phone booth that I recorded in Dublin. Looks pretty good with the effect. Here you can see it without the effect and with the effect. It's a really big difference. It really adds a lot to the shot in my opinion. And yeah, that's already it from this tutorial. That's how you can get a black promise. That word is actually copyrighted by Tiffin, I guess. So just the mist effect on your footage digitally without any screw on filters or filters for your matbox. Just with these two simple effects in your editing software. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more tutorials just like this one. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye.